prezentimin të mund kome bon që më në anglesë të sërë që nuk është më një problem për juve. So, hello everybody, thank you for attendance. As I was introduced, I am Liri Don Muchalku, I study pharmacy at University of Pristina. Today I will present you some results of a clinical study that I took part in uh, last summer during the summer practice in Vienna. So as you can see, my talk is titled Establishment of a Diagnostic Prognostic Method for the Determination uh, of Patient Survival Status after Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation by Applying Mass Spectrometry Analysis to Human Serum Samples. Okay. Uh, so we know a cardiac arrest refers uh, to the abrupt loss of heart's function caused by malfunctions of heart's electrical system. It may be reversed if a cardiopulmonary resuscitation is, uh, is performed or a defibrillator is used to shock the heart and to restore uh, the, heart, uh, the, heart's, the normal heart's rhythm. But, uh, but, however, uh, the incidence of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest is estimated to be around 350,000 deaths per year, making cardiovascular diseases the leading cause of deaths in, uh, in Europe. And still doesn't exist any predictive biomarker that makes cardiopulmonary And still we don't have uh, we don't have no we don't have no predictive biomarker uh, if uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation will be successful to restore uh, the partial flow of oxygenated blood to the heart and brain. And based on this, the aim of our study was to establish a prognostic tools for prediction of survival chances of patients undergoing cardiopulmonary resuscitation by applying mass spectrometry-based proteomics approaches. For this study, we've had 98 serum samples collected from patients uh, during the, the, during, uh, af actually after the day two of the resuscitation. These uh, samples were depleted using top 12 abundant depletion columns and followed with in-solution triptic digestion and uh, purification of generated peptides with C18 spin, uh, spin columns. Uh, we have used 10 samples, uh, 5 from each group of patients, for screening for protein candidates and development of the uh, MRM multi, uh, multiple reaction monitoring method, uh, which was performed on nano liquid chromatography coupled with the uh, high resolution uh, uh, Q executive uh, mass spectrometer. Uh, then proteins were identified using MaxQuan software. These uh, shotgun uh, data uh, by you and by using Skyline uh, helped us to develop the targeted multiple reaction monitoring method on nano LC uh, triple quad mass spectrometer. And here we did a combination of a high-resolution orbitrap mass spectrometer with a high-sensitive and robust triple quadrupole mass spectrometer, as we know, MS1 and MS2 analyzes. Okay, and these measurements, from these measurements, actually from orbitrap shotgun analysis, we could identify 330 proteins and uh, with implementation of uh, statistical analysis we uh, there were 67 proteins significantly regulated and with the, uh, and after we choose best transitions uh, we ended up without final scheduled MR method which consists of 43 proteins 72 peptides and 207 uh, transitions 
And then that, uh, this targeted uh, multiple reaction monitoring method that we just developed was applied to all the 98 uh, plasma samples. As I said, we've had in total uh, 98 plasma samples, but in the beginning, the method was developed by using only 10, uh, 10 samples, five from each group of patients. And sorry, then, now I remember I forgot to, uh, to mention, that these samples was, were collected from patients with poor outcome, the one who died after cardiary, uh, cardiac arrest, and the, one, and the other group was collected from patients who survived after uh, cardiac arrest. Here are the results after applying the uh, criteria of the significance with p-value lower than 0.05 and the fold change greater than 1.5, and the implementation of uh, statistical analy uh, analysis, uh, we found that nine proteins were significantly regulated. And these, pr uh, sorry, here are, are only the box plus. This study is still in process, and I, I'm not allowed to present the, the name of these, uh, uh, these proteins, but however, these proteins are involved in the cell-cell addition processes indicating the, pro uh, the potential damage of uh, blood-brain uh, barrier. Also, uh, there was a, a brain analyzer accomplished and seven of these nine proteins uh, regulated are found to be present in, uh, in the brain. Also, the, uh, the, uh, those uh, Significant regulated protein have been reported to be involved in the signaling processes uh, included from extracellular oxidative stress. Also, uh, even lipids have been measured and we found that uh, the, uh, the, even the lipids are uh, involved in these processes that I uh, just, uh, just mentioned. And as a summary for, uh, for all this uh, uh, study, is that we established a label-free MRI method and we found those nine significantly upregulated proteins and uh, uh, as a conclusion would serve that uh, uh, we achieved to demonstrate the power of mass spectrometry based approaches as a valuable tool to be implemented for diagnostic prognosis proposed in the clinic. So the purpose of this study was to put the use of uh, MS, so mass spectrometer, in the clinics. So that was it. Uh, also, I would like to share some acknowledgements in the end to Professor Gamma and his group for giving me the opportunity to be part of them during last summer for a summer practice in the University of Vienna. And also Prof, uh, Dr. Klaus Distelmeyer and uh, Professor Albrecht Christopher for uh, providing other samples to perform uh, this, uh, uh, this research. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>